Saad Al Mutalibi. He is a member of Baghdad's local government administration. Thanks so much for speaking to us. You must admit the government in Baghdad is already weak. How much more pressure, I have to ask you, do you think Iraq's political infrastructure can actually take given what these protests have caused? Yes, thank you very much. Um, I don't believe, I mean, it is a destabilization efforts, but I don't believe that this will lead to a change of regime or change of government. Uh, we have elections in a couple of years uh, will take place, and, uh, or exactly three years from now, and that is the way to change the regime or change the government. But as a matter of changing the regime, uh, I don't think this uh, way will lead to a, a, a successful uh, end into uh, putting enough pressure on the political system to find a new regime or change the constitution. Um, finding okay. finding a, a proper solution is uh, uh, the problem is that these demonstrations have no leadership. Uh, the major, as as far as I uh, my, my recollection from these people, and I'm speaking to them the last couple of days, the main reason is jobs. The young people have they feel they have no future, they have no opportunity for work. They have no chance to find a decent way of living, neither in the uh, private sector nor in the government sector. The government sector has closed all appointments due to regulation by the World Bank. The local, the local market or the, uh, the free market and the private market is in a, in a stagnant position uh, without okay. any governmental help. Right. And the money is not rotating the, the way it should. And there is no new creation of jobs. The industry is in a, in a dire straits. The agriculture is facing problems. So giving this combination of, uh, of events will definitely lead to uh, an unrest of within course. the youth population. And, and that is and the that problem. And that is what we're seeing now. Exactly. But you said one of the problems is that these protesters, this movement really has no leadership. But these protests are nationwide. Their grievances are legitimate. And, you know, we've seen them before, particularly in the south of Iraq, yet none of the issues are resolved. When will the government put forth real solutions to address these real problems? The, the, the problems in Basra last year was electricity and also unemployment. Uh, clean water. Uh, both issues were resolved in, and also of course unemployment. Both issues, the first two issues were resolved. The electricity in Basra is in a, in a great uh, uh, condition, water has been resolved. The uh, jobs, there is a great effort within the oil companies that operate in the south, in Basra area, to absorb more uh, people from Basra. There's a uh, efforts by the governor of, uh, of Basra uh, to uh, allocate jobs to people who are from Basra and not from adjacent provinces. And each province should uh, try to help their own people. So things are moving in the correct direction, but not enough. Not enough has been done during the government of Mr. Adl Abdel Mahdi. He needs to uh, expedite the, the reforms. He needs to expedite the, the efforts okay. uh, to find a resolution to the grievances of the young people. And, uh, yeah, and, they, and they have their own right. But the major uh, population that are in Baghdad are not take, talking about regime change. They're talking about their rights to work. Right. Uh, very few people talked about uh, uh, regime change, and the right they, to work, I though, do believe they are uh, it, politically motivated. Right. I, I, they have legitimate grievances. They want to be working, and they say part of the problem that they're not being given jobs or able to find jobs is because of corruption uh, in the government. And, you know, we've heard some of the protesters com complain that living no, conditions another, in the subject. north of Iraq, uh, an area controlled by the Kurdish regional government, the KRG, are much better uh, than in the rest of the country. They want, at the very least, those standards. Why can't that be fixed? Uh, that, uh, that is not entirely correct. People in Kurdistan are not happy, I can assure you. But there is a different type of governor, government in Kurdistan. Gov in Kurdistan, there is a presidential 
political system, where in Baghdad there is a parliamentarian political system. The parliamentarian system proved I'm talking to about be the economy, though. unsuccessful in Iraq for whatever reason. Yes, well, the economy is tied to the form of government. The presidential government in Kurdistan has a, a, an unlimited amount of power, power to the hand of the president, and the president can do whatever he likes without any opposition. Here in Baghdad, the prime minister is run by the parliament, the parliament is divided upon itself, and the, the prime minister is not allowed to do anything without the approval of the parliament. And since the parliament uh, consider any achievement to the government is they consider it as a, a political gain or as a, a election stunt. Therefore, they will stand against him. So, so the are you saying in a sense it's a failure in, in of the democracy? Is the fault or is the result? It's a failure of the democracy in Baghdad to, to the be fa able to resolve failure of the form. No failure of the failure of the form of democracy in Iraq. A parliamentarian system with all power given to the parliament is not the solution. Okay. We need to have a, a system very close to the French system with a presidential and a house to, to help the president, but not uh, the, the British way of running affairs. We are very closely based to the British system, which is not working here in Iraq. Okay, Saddam Mutalibi, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you so much for joining us from Baghdad. We greatly appreciate it.